Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 12 that is integrating the cucumber scenarios with chain tests. In this particular lecture we will learn how to run the J this cucumber scenarios or the future files with the chain and how to rerun the failed scenarios. Let us say we have got this selenium.feature file and you want to run all the scenarios in this feature file using chain it. Then what you will need to do is you will need that uh, dependencies which we have already talked about. So if you go to pom.xml file, you will notice that we have added this chain it dependency and this cucumber chain dependency. So these two dependencies are uh, required if you want to integrate the chain it with the cucumber. And then what you have to do is create a test class like this. Then this class has nothing, it's empty class, but these annotations do all the thing. Like here we are saying that run with cucumber.class. So here we are specifying that we need to execute the tests using cucumber.class main method. And this cucumber class is nothing but from this particular package, cucumber.api.jnit.cucumber. Then here we need to specify the cucumber options. This is very important. This is the place where we specify where our feature files are located. So here we have specified the features is equal to class path colon selenium dot feature. It means that selenium dot feature, this particular feature file is located in the class path. And since it is in the resources directory over there, it can find it out over there. Then glue is actually used to specify where our step definitions are available. And we have specified that this is available in the org.soft post package. So this is also important because otherwise without that it will not know like from where to uh, like where to find the step definitions for the scenario steps. And finally we have got the plugin is equal to HTML colon target slash cell name dash reports. So this plugin is equal to is used to specify where our we want to keep the HTML reports for the and to run this particular test what you have to do is just right click on that particular test class and then click on run my tests. Then what will happen is it will search for this feature file and pick up all the scenarios and then start executing the scenarios from that feature file and uh, it will look for the step definitions inside of this package. So it will uh, look through all the classes that are available in that package and then find the appropriate st step methods and finally it will store the reports in this particular directory. So let us see what it is going to do. So as we can see that in the selenium.feature that particular file we have got just one test where we go to the softforce.org website and then check the title of that website. So it is started execution of that particular test. So the test has been executed and uh, if you look at the target directory this directory is created and there you will find one index.html file. So if you open it in a browser so that is how it creates the HTML report. This is the report generated by the Cucumber for our. In this particular uh, JNIT test class we have specified that we want to run the test from this particular feature file and we want to keep the uh, reports in this particular directory but what happens is that let us say one of the tests has failed in this particular feature file say what I'm gonna do is now that I'm gonna fail this state tests I'm gonna look for this word in the title which is not there so this test is gonna fail and then what I want to do is I want to rerun that fail test so for that what you have to do is you have to use this particular syntax here you can give any name and remember that in the plugin we have specified another option or the string where we have specified rerun is equal to target slash rerun.txt then what will happen is the failed scenario is put into this rerun.txt file and then we can use that particular file to rerun the failed tests. So to rerun the failed tests what you have to do is create another test class. Say rerun my tests like that and then 
over there in the features what you have to do is give this particular syntax so normally what we do is we give the name of the feature file but here we are going to put it rerun.txt because that is where our failed scenarios are stored and then class path remains the same so what will happen is after executing this uh, particular test this test uh, one scenario is going to fail and then that failed scenario will be put into rerun.txt so let us go ahead and execute this particular test can also run the rest by right clicking on that particular file my java so the test has failed and if you look at the rerun.txt file you can notice that this file is created over there on the target directory and you open that it is showing that serialm.feature colon 3 that means the scenario at line number three in this file has been failed and to rerun that particular scenario all you have to do is this click uh, run uh, this particular test rerun my tests or there we have specified that our scenarios are in this file rerun.txt then what will happen is it will execute those particular tests in that particular file so let us run this particular scenario or test so remember that this is the format in which uh, these failed scenarios are uh, put using the line numbers in the feature file so this time around also it's gonna fail because we haven't updated the test but uh, the i just wanted to show you how you can uh, read on the failed tests using change it in cucumber so again it is failed so that is how you can uh, rerun the failed scenario this is a really important thing and uh, in most of the projects you need this kind of feature where you need to rerun the failed tests because sometimes of uh, because of a shaky application or some uh, unstable application what happens is that some tests fail because of synchronization and all that stuff so to avoid those particular failures what we need to do is rerun the failed tests again to make sure that uh, that uh, the issues that are found after rerunning the failed tests are correct so uh, to eliminate the false positives we need to do that rerun thing so just to rewind in this lecture what we have seen is in the future files we can execute the tests right here in the interj using this particular way but normally if any you are uh, working with the maven and integration or the ci servers what you need to do is uh, integrate this particular feature files with the jn tests and for that you need to create the test class like this this is purely simple test class and over there we have specified that you need to run with this particular class cucumber not class and uh, cucumber options are also specified here we mentioned okay where uh, our future files are available so that we need to specify then where our stable definitions are there using this glue parameter and plugin options uh, in that we specify here our uh, reports should be kept and we can also specify whether we need to uh, like uh, put the fail scenarios in rerun.txt file or not for that you need to specify this particular value to rerun the failure tests what you need to do is in the features file instead of the actual feature file you need to specify the rerun.txt file so that ends our lecture number 12 that is integrating the scenarios with the JN tests i hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on cucumber and jnit